Hi there and welcome back to video number 7 in our series on the calculus of variations. In the last video we, def we derived the Euler-Lagrange equation. It can be written as partial f by partial y minus d by dx by partial f partial y derivative equals 0. Now we're going to derive another two simplified versions of this equation which are going to help us whenever we do our uh, worked examples. Now the first simplified equation is called the uh, Beltrami identity and it tells us that if we are only dealing with a function which has got no explicit dependence on x then the function above, the Euler-Lagrange equation above, will simplify to f minus y derivative of partial f upon partial y equals 0. So that is true when there's no explicit explicit dependence on x. Now what follows is a proof of that. Now if we were to write out our total derivative of the function f, so we'll write out the total derivative as uh, df by dx would be partial f by partial x times partial x by partial x plus partial f by partial y times partial y by partial x plus partial f by partial y derivative times partial y derivative by partial x. Now if you're unsure about that just go back and have a look at maybe some Khan Academy videos on the total derivative and uh, you'll see that that is the total derivative of the of the function uh, df by dx which has got a dependence on x and y and y derivative. Now we can rewrite the above. I'll not write this end, I'll just put a little ditto. That equals, well that's just going to equal 1 and we've said that there's going to be no explicit dependence in x, so df by dx will be 0. So you're just going to end up with that will equal partial f by partial y times partial y by partial x plus partial f by partial y derivative times partial y derivative by partial x. So we can then write this here as partial f by partial y times, well that's y derivative of x. Now I'll just write y derivative, I won't put the x in because that's already, it's understood, plus partial f by, by partial y derivative times and again that's going to be y double derivative of x. Now if we then look at a few little tricks in order to get us along the road here, if we look at the Euler-Lagrange equation 
it can be written as partial f by partial y equals d by dx of partial f upon partial small f upon partial y derivative. Now if we were to multiply that throughout by y derivative, this is one of the tricks, so we multiply that in by y derivative and we multiply this whole thing here by y derivative then if we were to look at this side here y derivative df by dy derivative would be equal to that there but that there is the same as what we have here okay for one of the partial one of the uh, total one of the factors in the total derivative so that there I draw a circle around it is equal to that there is the same as this here which equals this here so what I'm saying is we can take this equation in here and substitute it in for this here so you'll end up with y derivative d by dx of partial f by partial y derivative yeah so that's us stuck this in here for that and if we add on partial f on partial y derivative times y double derivative Okay, now another thing to note on our little trick here is if you remember the product rule for differentiation, so I'll just write it quickly at the side here. If you had, uh, if you were differentiating a uh, product of two functions u times v, it would be uh, u times dv plus v times du so that would be our little product rule for differentiation okay now if you notice this here this here can be written in a shorthand form and that shorthand form would be d by dx of y derivative of partial f upon partial y derivative right and I've gained all of these are equal to our total derivative which is df by dx df by dx now you can convince yourself of this by multiplying this back out so if we were to multiply this back out using the product rule you be, we would have if we use um, u dv so u would be y derivative and dv would be d by dx of df by dy derivative and this term here we would have df by dy derivative times differential of this which would be y double derivative so that indeed does equal that via the product rule um, now so we could rewrite that and we take this across here so we would have df by dx minus d by dx of y derivative uh, 
partial f by partial y derivative equals zero. Now we're differentiating that with respect to x in the same way we're doing this. So this f can get taken in to this differential here. So that could be written as d by dx of this function here f minus y derivative partial f by partial y derivative equals zero. So now we note that we're taking this whole term here and when we differentiate it we get zero. Now we know that if you differentiate a constant, so if you differentiate a constant, that's meant to be constant, <laughs> let's say by some value x, that's always going to be equal to zero. So for example, if you differentiate five, you get zero. So in this sense here, we're differentiating a constant, we're differentiating a function here and getting a zero. So that function there must be a constant. So that means that we can say that f minus y derivative of partial f upon partial y derivative equals a constant. Okay. Now that there, and I believe I made a boob right at the very beginning because I, don't, I think I stuck a zero in there. Yeah, at the very beginning here, with no explicit dependence in x, that there should actually say, if I find my rubber, there, is equal to a constant. Okay, so that there is the Euler Lagrange, it's the book called the Beltrami Identity, which is really the Euler Lagrange equation written where there's no explicit dependence on x. So for example in the example we gave of the rope hanging across two pulleys we didn't have an explicit dependence on x so rather than using this Euler-Lagrange equation here we could use this Beltrami identity. Okay so um, I think I'll go on to another page and we'll finish this off I'll turn that off. We'll go on to page two. I can think of how to do it. Right, well, what I'll do is I'll just actually enough room here at the bottom because this is hardly anything to do. If we then said that the function that we are dealing with, the function that we're dealing with, has no explicit dependence on x and it's got no explicit dependence on y then we can further simplify this by noting that I'll oh, get enough room here I'll try it we note that the Euler-Lagrange equation partial f by partial y right partial f it's df by partial f by partial y minus d by dx of partial f upon partial y derivative that would become well we're saying there's no dependence on y so that's going to disappear there's no functional dependence on y so that disappears and you would have this term here would equal zero so again if this that negative term there if i was to take this across the onto the other side it would be uh, that would be a negative term. Two negatives would cancel out and we would still just have this term here would be equal to 
0. So we would have d by dx of partial f upon partial y derivative would equal 0. And again, the same as up here, we're differentiating a function here and getting a, a value of 0. So it means that that function that we're differentiating must be a constant. So we can write partial f upon partial y derivative would equal a constant c. So that equation there, what we're going to use. So now we've got three equations that we will be using whenever we work through our examples. Okay, that's equation number one, which is the Euler-Lagrange equation. Equation number two, which is the Beltrami identity, and the equation number three, I don't know if I've got a three in there, let's just see. Equation number three, which we'll also be using. Okay, that's the end of this video. On the next video, we'll get back and we'll start doing some examples. I'll try to get through maybe about 15 different examples to give you a good flavour of the, the power of this calculus of variations. Okay, thank you for listening and goodbye.